Never Terry Vivi and WAPO will unveil the truth about the world government and share everything with Morgan, the news creator. What kind of news will Morgan spread to the whole world? Before we dive into the video, I'd like to ask for your help in subscribing to this channel so that I can be more motivated to create content. I want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed. All right, let's dive right into the video. Chapter 1074, Mark 3. The story continues. Egghead, Fabio Frazzi. Several explosions are seen around the area. Someone says, you're a Marine soldier, right? Don't let the government's weapons block our path. It turns out to be the voice of the Cyberpol agents. Several agents are seen unconscious. Someone holding a cannon says, How dare you! Doing that to our comrades. The man prepares to fire the cannon. But the cannon's attack is easily blocked by a pacifista, using a bubble-like shield. The attack then turns back and hits the Cyberpol agents. They wonder, bubble shield? Is this the strongest shield created by Dr. Vegapunk? One of them says, it's far beyond the prototype used in the Summit War. It's Mark III. Mark III says, don't fight back. Switch to Factory B. The scene shifts to Fabry. Don't move too much. It will reopen your wound. There, Sintomaru is being treated by assistant researchers of Vegapunk. Ha ha, my time seems to be up. Did the pacifistic carry out their mission well? Sintomaru asks. One scientist answers, something seems to be happening up there. Sentamaru is severely injured from the previous battle. He recalls Luffy's words, that Luffy will take Dr. Vegapunk out of the island. He says, what worries me is that the Marines have been contacting us repeatedly without us realizing it, and I'm considered a rebel. Several eggs containing Pacifista Mark III are seen. Sentamaru says, 50 Pacifista Mark III, move out. Straw Hat Luffy is allowing Dr. Vegapunk to ride on a ship. The pacifista start moving. Sentomaru says, make sure your creator escapes from this island no matter what. The scene shifts to Egghead, Labo phase. You mean, they're not here? They should be in the laboratory, right? Luffy is seen exhausted, along with Chopper. Luffy asks Shaka, where's the old man? And also, Bonnie? Shaka answers, Bonnie is here. Luffy, huh? Luffy, why didn't you say so earlier? Brook, Zoro, and Stussy have gathered back with the others. Shaka explains that two strange incidents have occurred. First, the main body disappeared. And second, they lost control of the border dome. This means that currently, no one can leave the laboratory. If anyone decides to leave, their body will be burned to death by lasers. Everyone disperses to search for Vegapunk Stella. Zoro asks, can I come too, just to find that old man? But Sanji stops Zoro and says, wait, Marimo, you want to search for a missing person? Then who will search for you when you go missing, huh? As a result, Zoro and Luffy remain in the room, sitting on a chair. And below them, Kaku and Uchi are defeated and unconscious. The scene shifts to make you room. Here, we see Bonnie looking at Father Kuma's past. Bonnie sees a big body child crying, and she approaches him. The child is being beaten by a few others, and he's crying in sorrow. Bonnie runs towards the child. She can't get closer. Bonnie cries as she sees her father being beaten by those people, and Bonnie falls out of the bubble. The scene shifts back to the laboratory. Pythagoras is seen walking alone, searching for Vegapunk Stella. A sound is heard behind Pythagoras. As he turns his head, an explosion occurs in the laboratory. The scene shifts again on a flying news coup ship. Puaha! Look at this incredible intel that just flew in front of me. Morgan is seen very pleased by the extraordinary news. The government is assassinating Dr. Vegapunk, killing the world's number one genius. Then he met this guy. Morgan shows a wanted poster of Luffy in Nico mode, and I'm going to title it like this. Yonko Luffy, the straw hat, kidnaps Vegapunk, destroys Egghead, and declares war against the Marines. Morgan continues, truly an absurd title. Luffy would never do something like this. That's why I hate the government. Vivi says, here we see Princess of Alabasta, Nefertari V, and King of Black Drum Kingdom, Wapol, who have been rescued by Morgans. Morgan says, you were just a crying little kid yesterday. 
Don't pretend to get involved in my business. The person who can shake the world is me. I don't care whether it's fiction or fact. Newspapers are just entertainment for me. To be continued. Thank you to all of you who have watched this video until the end. I kindly ask for your assistance in subscribing to this channel and giving it a like. And also, for those of you who would like to request specific chapters, you can write them in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next video.